Good morning and welcome to a very dull part of the UK in the marina if I show you where boats come to die basically uh, I've acquired a boat that I'm working on or about to work on uh, I've had a friend look at it uh, just from the outside and it's come my way and uh, I've decided to uh, give the old YouTube a go and document uh, and I just I'm gonna this is a learning journey as I go along as well hence the cars all going past just as soon as I turn the camera on um, but yeah basically this is a journey on putting the boat together seeing how far it will take us and um, just documenting it all really basically cleaning it all up getting it all up and running uh, it's a Cutlass 27 by the way but at the moment um, yeah I thought I'd do some form of intro just to explain it all in just a brief about the boat yeah like I said it's a 27 foot Cutlass uh, sailing yacht fin keel she's been sitting around for a long time and um, basically this is the start of something uh, restoring the boat and taking it from there really and this is the journey of um, starting it all so uh, come with me we'll go and check it all out look inside from the pictures it's awful uh, the boat's pretty awful but I can see the potential in it so um, yeah see you over there This is uh, Serena Mo, she's a Cutlass 27 and um, I've managed to acquire her and the idea is that we're going to be um, restoring her fully. I've, had, I've, had, I've only just really come down now to sort of look at the boat and I just sort of went in blind and said we'll take it. Um, although I did have um, an engineer have a quick look at it for me on the outside, we haven't been in but um, yeah the plan is that we're going to we're gonna make her good again because if you look at her she's a lovely boat although you know we've got scratches bits of damage on the hull this can be painted it looks like this is just paint scratches where someone's already painted it it's obviously been resprayed or hand painted at one side someone's had a good go at sanding it but really to get all this back ready we need to sort of hand scrape it unfortunately some sort of rubber around the top there we've got some sort of rubber um wood protector so we've got to see what the wood's like the mast is all here intact um, the engine I've got to see but apparently the engine is a runner on this one um, they did say about the starter motor has failed but we can have a look at that move the uh, we can move the prop on this cutlass bearing is not too bad because I'm not getting any movement on that I'm gonna have to have a word of the yard though because if you look where we are and just have a look around you know, I can hardly exactly work on it here, so we're gonna find out about moving her to a better position for work to be done to her. And I'm just gonna start making the list of uh, things like that to be looked at, but that, that's absolutely fine. He's been sitting on the hive probably for about 10 years or so, but nothing a good clean can do to start with. But first of all, we need to get the ladders out, get inside and see what we can find inside. So um, yeah, join me inside. Oh mate, <laughs> you wait till you get up here and see this. <laughs> I have got a jet wash, but I think we're going to take more than a jet wash on this. <laughs> Blimey, we've even got like a, a flower bed almost here. Of, rot 
Just uh, safety first and all that, mate. <laughs> Don't know how stable this is, you see, because this has all been covered up, so I presume the wood underneath this protector is either rotten or it's been put on to protect the wood. So um, we'll find out in a bit. Yeah, I don't want to go too far up the front because I'm not sure how secure the boat is. I've got to find out a bit more from the yard. Uh, but there's a lot of water up here, just holding water that we need to just sort of brush off when I come back with materials that I need. But this needs a really good clean. The mast is all intact. The mast is all in here. I've got the boom here with it as well. The rigging, I've just, you know, I think the rigging looks like it's probably going to need to be changed. But, uh, Nothing a pressure washer can do to start with, just to get us, give us some sort of idea. But I'm dying to get inside. Let's go. Yeah, just look at this. Old sheeting, lime ropes, that's all coming off. Someone's lovely left me this pile of rubbish. I don't know what's in there. We're going to have to go through this. It's either bags of rubbish, it belongs to the boat, or just people in the area decided to chuck their rubbish on here. Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> uh, we're going to climb inside next. Alright. Nasty. Oh, at least got a little steps. We've got a little generator by the looks of it. God, let's have a look. Ooh. Bit of a pong to it. Come on, right. We're gonna have to um, speak to the yard about getting this sail it's taken off so we can get easy access to stuff. But look at that. an old seagull engine there. Got some tools, generator down here. I don't know what that is, some sort of cube hobby. Uh, let's get in, let's have a look. Let's start um, diving into it. Wait, let's fall through then. Oh, this is not stable. Can bleep it out, mate. <laughs> Right. What do we have here? Oh, at least we've got a boat look, mate. We're saved. We've got tools, haven't we? Look, let's see this. We've got electrical cables, multiple old school battery chargers. God, bloody hell, look at the state of that. Got a hammer, always need a hammer. Right, we've got an old school book. When's that not? Is there any writing in that book? It's all dates, anything really. Apart from the cobwebs. So the almanacs are usually used to, um, you know, to help your passage plan in, um, all sorts, just full of knowledge, you know, what the sign the boys are, you know, markers, what type of ship it is, lights, that sort of stuff. Um, it's gonna be a video of that old cooker there. Yeah, old school, mate, look at that's coming out. We don't want gas on the boat anyway to begin with. Radar reflector. Radar reflector coming out. What have we got here? What is that? Is that something? We've got an old school log. See this? This is an old school log. So basically, you usually have a. So this is analog. So you have an impeller that comes off this, goes through the boat, and as it spins, you should be able to see that. It's probably not working. Oh, it's bobbing around a bit. There you go. As the impeller spins behind the boat, it gives you a bit of speed and tells you how fast your boat's working. There we go. I'm spinning currently at three knots. But it tells us if we go by this boat, it's done 333 knots. But when was that taken off? Oh, I'm feeling my head there. Look at this, uh, have you seen it? Look at this, this is another thing to do. Got this seeding working on. Blimey, right. Got a generator. This can come off. We'll probably get these sort of things serviced. There's some things on this boat that can come off that we can sort of service, do up and probably just sell it a boat jumble or something and try and sort of put some money back into the boat because it's going to need a little bit this is an old seafarer up here so basically what this is is if i take it off 
is it a seafarer? It's basically a depth sounder. It's the old fashioned depth sounders if you ever come across these. Look at that. So basically, you turn it on up here with your gain and then you get a spinning light inside of here. And then the first one sits at zero and then the next one will spin and it'll tell you how deep. I don't know if it's in meters or feet or whatever, but that's basically how the old one used to work. It's even got an LCD display. Probably dates this to a probably the 80s, I reckon. So it's like, not really worth much anymore, but they are, some people still want them and use them. But that can go. All of this can be ripped out and gone. I mean, what have we got here? This looks like a, oh, we've got a wind vane. This looks like an electrical. Oh, oh, there we go. Then we've got the even got the little pilot so basically <laughs> i remember these things this is an autopilot basically it sits at the back we put the, the tiller on it and then we usually put it set it to auto and it will hold the boat in the course that you've just held it to useful because this this sail doesn't have a um rolling fur it means you can basically put out how much sail you want at the front so if you're hanking on sails or you're reefing and you're working and you're single-handedly sailing you put this thing on you set him to auto and off he goes. This probably dates around about the 90s, the early 90s I suggest. Um, this is where the compass is inside and it's all an in-in-one, you know, complete one unit. And uh, what other bits are in here? I should really go and get some gloves dealing with this. I mean, I haven't opened any pots, but yeah, we've got what looks like a wind in the, a wind. So these things can sell to wind as well if you want them to. Um, but this is they they do this is a what's called an auto helm 1000 but Ray Marine uh, took over from auto helm Ray Marine's now taken over by someone else but this is a 1000 so it's designed they do different models of this based on uh, the di uh, displacement of your vessel but this one if it works I'm going to take it away put it on the workshop on the bench fire it up see if it works clean it up keep it for the boat they're useful bits of unit and uh, they're still popular today. Not sure about with the wind indicator, we can wire it into a new system of whatever we set up at the time. Um, and just, I've got so much to go through, haven't I? You know, we've got, look at this, we've got a, an old gas heater here, that's certainly not gonna be staying in here. That's coming out. This is an old Seagull engine. You've probably seen these before. These are our um, vintage little petrol tank. You put a little bit of rope around the top there. And you put it, although this one has got it built in by the looks of it. What's in our toolbox? Uh, oh, we've got plenty of tools in here. They've been around a while. Let's have a look at that. I mean, to be honest, I can go through all this later. Look, this is obviously the boat's electrical system. We've got fuses, we've got pliers, electrical tape, deck fittings, um, Navstar decker. Uh, Navstar decker. So, decker, decker means basically like the old sort of GPS style. Decker. stuff so this is the impeller this sits inside the water pump basically this spins causes the water to push round and it cools your engine and it pumps out the back so your impeller this is one of those serviceable items that are useful that you do need on your on your engine but we'll cover more in hopefully episodes to come that cover this sort of stuff when we get to it so we can put that for engine spares um, yeah, look, just more stuff. What have we got here? We've got tools, laser impact tools. So, I mean, the person paid 20, 20 pound 39 for this, bloody hell. Just, just loads of stuff, really. Get the, uh, I think to be honest, I'm gonna uh, just sort of paint, we're gonna just completely empty it out. We're gonna paint in here. And then I'm probably gonna put some headlining up in here on these boards, because we've just got enough lip here to put a nice bit of uh, headlining up. And then we'll just put some sort of LED downlighters in here because obviously this is um, no good really. Switch panel over here. Switch panel I think we're going to be putting over here anyway. This is all coming off. I think we're going to just have a nice sort of um, set up in here. Saloon cushions. Make it nice sort of home from home. Telly up here. Nice sort of pictures, clock, that sort of stuff. Look what we've got here. Another old school unit. So here, compass hand bearing. So what we do is take a bearing pretty cool I haven't seen one like this um, it's even got oh I think it's got a flash on it of some sort because you can see all the 
the letters. I see him say on there, all the letters. Are. Anyway, that can go on the pile of interest. Oh, this motor's gonna have to come out. I'm gonna take this motor down and lower it down and put it in the van. I don't know what that is. Looks like some old school pressure washer. I'm gonna have to Google this, a Q hobby. Health and Safety Act 1974. I think that's changed several times since then, don't you? <laughs> some sort of tank. The hose goes in and then the gun comes out this side. Yeah, look, there's a picture of it. Don't spray dogs, see that? Looks like a dog. Don't spray this at people whilst walking dogs. <laughs> Stuff I'm interested in, seeing the quality of things. So for example, this is, yeah, this is the um, cell cover for the boom. So, I mean, in terms of quality, it's not too bad. I mean, it could probably do with a good clean, obviously, or what everything can do with a good clean. What we can do with this, is at least keep it to keep a pattern if we were to change it. But to be honest, I mean, um, you know, we're looking to restore this bow, but got to keep an eye on the cost of everything. But stuff like this, we can see how it comes up wash wise. If not, keep it for the pattern and then sort that out later. So, um, yes, yeah, I ain't even opened up the doors yet. I mean, look at all this rubbish here. I've got to get that out, got to get those lockers open. This is a good friend of mine, Sean. All right. What do you reckon of the boat, mate? It's beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Look at it's her. It's top notch. Yeah, this is our first time coming down to see it, right? Uh, yeah, you've got to bear with us, guys. Sean's got all the gear. I've got no idea. So, um, we're going to go up and start clearing this rubbish out. I'm just setting it up now. So, uh, have a refresh. Let's go and have a look. Look at this. You saw it in the other footage as well, just... Yeah, it's all fun. But look at all these bags of rubbish. This is what we've got to sort out, these bags of rubbish. Get inside the lockers. Find out what we can get rid of. Oh, I'm trying to get on the bloody boat. Oh. The mast is all here intact, this has got to come off. But I mean, yeah. Welcome to the yard where boats come to die. Get in the bloody boat! At least they left some nice steps for me. Right. You see what's underneath bunks. Got some old cooker, look at this. This has got to come out state of it. I don't want gas on here at all. I don't know if the gas, I ain't even seen the bottles. They're probably, if there is any, some down the end there. East Coast. What I did find a minute ago, we've got some nice manuals here about the engine. Look, November 67, December 66. The deck of the HF radio. I'll go through all this sort of stuff when I can. Right, if we go through here, look at the cushions. Still spongy. I've got to make my way up there. Hopefully we've got nothing nesting up there, but um, yeah, just give you a bit of idea looking in here, moves it out of the way. I mean I ain't been here we said, oh look at the loom. All these pipes are changing. Let's see what the seacocks are like. I can't move that! Whoa. I think those are probably going to change anyway. What have we got in here? That's a bag of rubbish, is that? Oh no, that's the medicine bag by the looks of it. Um, I don't think that's going to be saving anyone. Deionized water for the old school battery. Loads of test leads. Set of jumper leads and test leads everywhere. Let's go up front a little bit more. Ah, oh, here we are. Look, we've got bags of sails. Some old school manky pillow thing. What have we got in here? I don't really want to put my hands in these sort of places. I don't know what's in there. What is all this? Just absolute. Once I've made more space, I can get in there. Cushions, bags of cells. What's in here? 
Oh, that must be for that pressure washer, the gun and everything. Oh, we've got a nice big old, big old pump. Um, got a set of oars. Got a set of oars. We might even have a blow up dinghy on here, if I'm lucky. Uh, but I'll get up there when we get there. I think we've got to make our way there. Yeah, what's inside? Ready? I haven't even looked. Yeah, it's not too bad. Nothing a good clean can do. Let's not change it. Oh, here's all of our mast connections. Change all the mast connections. Got a mirror in here. Oh, it's got detail. Washing up liquid. What is it? Oh, it's gone. I've got to say, it smells a bit funky when I'm moving stuff. Oh, look at all this. Oh, this has got to come off. At least the wood. I've got to say, it is dry in here. Apart from all this here, look at all this. See, just going to get in here. I'm going to give a job for the missus to get in here and start scraping all this down. Look at that. See, God. Oh, we've got more stuff in here. What have we got in here? Oh, it looks like kitchen stuff, utilities. Red X WD-40. Right, let's come out. Right. First aid kit. Oh, more paint full in my head. Um, I'll be interested to see what's under here and what's in those lockers. Yeah. Got a lot to do. Just looking around, bloody hell. Right. I'm set the camera up, I think, and then... Uh, See if I can do uh, a bit of tiny. Is that headphones? Is that a set of headphones? Look at these headphones. Look at that. Who wants to put those on your ears? Look at those. I think they're that old. The leather's worn out. Oh, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Okay, with the filter box, oh, we've got a knife set there. Yeah, we've got some navigation here. What's that? Oh, look, for putting on your. Just put on your chart, so when you put it on your chart, you can zoom in and see your coordinates and contours and stuff. Got books, got charts. You can have a look at some dates and see if we can date this. They say the boat's 1969. Oh, here we go. Look at that—a nice little um, battery condition tester. Never seen one like that before. What's in the bag? I love looking in bags. Let's have a look. Right. Oh, take out outboard. Oh, we've got more tools. We've got mole grips, more mole grips, spanners. Let's get the tub. What have we got over here? Electrical wires, earthing leads, bungs. So if you're not sure, or if you're interested in looking at boating, what these are is basically, like the seacocks I showed you down there, if you get a leak or a hole, basically you just sort of push these things into it sort of suppress any water coming in. Uh, oh, I believe you call these a Dan boy, you see this? Things off the back of the boat with the light. And it'll bob around and float upright in the water. And it sits on that tube at the back of the boat. Here we go, we've got someone's nice little... Nice, oh, I've got some overalls. I've got a mate called Pete who's... Uh, in on the boat with me as well. So Pete, I've got yourself a set of overalls here mate for when you turn up and give me a hand. So um, you'll see more of Pete in time to come. Oh, we don't have Mickey and his mates in here, I don't think so. Because I've got to say, it's pretty dry in this boat. The windows, if you look at the windows, uh, and all around there, look at this. Windows, yeah, not too bad. They're dry, and that's dry. I haven't been up the front yet to look at the hatch. That's another thing that leaks is hatches. So, but looking around here, don't see any water damage. Of just a just a scruffy old floor. Um, you can sleep under there. I'm gonna get in under there and find out what's underneath here. But yeah, then we've got the galley area. A bit of a small galley area. I have looked at these designs of the boats, and basically. Through here, they don't have the bulkheads on there, and they've got the complete through. But I'm not sure if I'll play with anything like that because you know, space on the boat is always an advantage. As you can see, no one's decided space on that. So 
I'm going to crack on with this. When I finish that, I'll, um, I'll be back to show how far I've got. So, uh, yeah, see you shortly. <laughs> to sort of somewhere over here that'll be perfect and then I've got some space to work on it because there's no way I can work with it with all this grass right, let's get inside oh, look at the state of this rubbish <laughs> I think I stopped it and started again on this, but it did record the other bit. Anyway, let's see how Sean's getting on down there. Let's have a look at this. Hey, any hidden treasure yet? Cash in the attic, as they say. We'll show you the hidden treasure later. <laughs> we found some good bits. This, though, I don't think you're going to be using any of this. Uh, oh, I had a look at it. some of that maybe because I mean, you, you got, got some pulleys, yeah. So put that to the put that to a side. That's the sort of the keep slash sellable. Someone might want it. Okay. Anyway. I think that's like electrical oh coat hangers and that can all go in the rubbish. Look at that. It's a giant. I oh, no, Look at the coat. Look at the pegs. Oh. Right. Let's have a look. Oh right. We're gonna be looking in here next. Uh, someone's already snapped that off by the looks of it. Yeah, let's have a look. Snap that one. And snap that one as well. So I wonder if someone's been on there before. Here we go. What have we got in there? Diesel cans. Can oh, more stuff. Look. All buried in there. We've got stuff. We've got fenders. What have we got here? Bits of rope. I'll go through that in a minute. Let's go in 
this one. Let's lift this one up. Oh, poor jerry cans. You can have enough jerry cans, can you? Look with all the nozzles. Got a pump. This all goes back. Oh my days, look at that spider. Is that a spider? It's got some feet on that thing. Right. Can't really show you in there yet until we get in there start having another deep clean up. At least I can get in here now and see the floor. Oh. Right. Put the old handle from over here in there and pump out the water. Let's have a look. Anything under there? No, it's just mucky. All this needs to be ripped out and well, not all of it ripped out, just cleaned up. Let's see where we get with it. What have we got under here? Let's have a look, eh? What have we got? This is a good time to uh, finish what is the start of something new for us. Um, basically, yeah, the idea today was just get on board, have a look what we've got, and as you can see, we're just there's a lot of stuff, a lot of work to be done. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'll, uh, once I've got all this sorted out and I've got my head around everything and paperwork and everything then I can sit down and I mean, I've got the engine to look at and stuff sit down properly, uh, talk with you or let you know just a bit more about the boat, how I came about it um, basically it was um, it was available to a good home uh, you know people could put an offer in on it and uh, basically I saw, saw a I see the potential in the boat and uh, that's where I want to take it really. I've um, got a friend of mine that's doing it with me and I'm uh, going to give this YouTube thing a go as well. I've been talking about it for a while and uh, yeah, it'll be good to document it as well and for you guys to see how we get on. As you can see there is plenty to be getting on with so it'll be nice to um, see from one end to the other and record it all. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.